Data Dictionary, Student Details on a School Database. We're going to take a look at a data dictionary now, and this is one I actually created with one of my classes. And the way we did this was we actually got the students to get out their actual student cards. And we looked at all the data that could be seen on their student cards and helped us decipher the types of data, the data formats, the data types that would be stored about them in the school database. So this is really the findings we found there. And I encourage you to do the same with by looking at your own student cards. So firstly are the fields that are in this database. Okay, so we've got student ID, which is obviously going to be the primary key. Okay, we've got the student's first name and last name, the year group they are in, their date of birth, an image of the student, and the team associated with the student, which is one of the coloured houses that the school may run as a part of internal sport. Next is the data types for these fields. Now, the first three are all text, okay, and ID is always a funny one because IDs can sometimes be numbers and letters and whatever. Because it's usually a numbers and letters, we always make it text. First name and last name are obviously text because we need letters to make up those names. Year group is a number because it is a numeric value that is going to increase by one every year as the student progresses through the year levels. Okay, the date of birth is obviously a time because it's the specific date the student was born. Okay, the student image is going to be an image data type and then the format will say what type of image it will be. Okay, that is stored on the database that the student is referenced by when you look them up in the system. And obviously the school team is also a text. Going through the formats, for the year group you can see that there are two hashtags. That's because two numbers can be used here in order to make up the student's year group. Obviously they're single digit from 7, 8, 9, but then once they get up to years 10, okay, it's a 1, 0, a 1, 1 and a 1, 2. So we need at max two digits there. The date of birth you can see is in the format of day, day, slash, month, month, slash, year, 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 year. Okay, and that's obviously arranged because we're here in Australia. That's how we display the date format here. Depending on your country, that might be displayed in a different way, or it might be just displayed in a different way for different reasons, reflecting how we want it to appear on the actual uh, student card. Okay, when we talk about driver's licenses, they actually display the date with three months in the middle because they write Feb and Ma and Des for December, okay, using three characters. So there are a variety of ways date of birth can be displayed. And then we've got the image here as a JPEG format. And JPEG is perfect for storing a lot of images because of the lossy compression, okay, which means it gives it a lower file size at high quality. But if the image is going to be edited, which is unlikely with this database, that's when we get a lot of pixelation and the image starts to look ugly. But for this purpose, that's probably the best way to go. The big one here to understand is the student ID. As you can see, there's an X at the front of the data format followed by seven Ns. What that means is the actual student ID is going to start off with a letter and then followed by seven numbers. Okay, and you'll see in the example that it, they all start off with an S, okay, and then a different combination of the seven numeric digits. Okay, and the S obviously represents a student. Okay, so that's how the codes are associated with students, and obviously they'll be reflected in the field size as well as the example. We'll move into our field sizes now. Okay, and what we've got here is obviously the ID first, which is an exact eight. We know that it's got that one letter at the front followed by seven numbers. So that's always going to be eight. For the first name and last names, we've given them 20 characters. And look here at my, our school here, we've got a lot of long European last names. So 20 is a safe bet for the character length of some of those last names. But remember, the more of uh, the field size that I go for, the more characters I allow for it, the bigger impact it has on the size of this database. Okay, and especially for the amount of records put in will obviously increase that exponentially. So I try to be tight with my actual numbers that I give for my field sizes here. Year group at max is a two, as I said, years 10, 11 and 12, all only two digits. Okay, so that's a max that can be there. The date of birth, that's an exact, okay, when I count the two Ds, the slash, the two Ms, the slash and the four Ys, that is 10 characters in total. And so it can't be bigger or smaller than that. JPEG, that's a, a variable because it's an image size, so we don't need to put in a field size for that. And the school teams, when I looked at all their names, the longest one was 10 characters in length. So we'll keep that as 10, but the other ones are shorter anyway, but that's the perfect number for there. The next column is the descriptions. Okay, for the descriptions, okay, obviously the ID is the unique identification for each individual student. Student's first name and last name, self-explanatory. Year level is the year level the student is in. Uh, the date the student was born is their date of birth. The student image obviously is a profile photo of that student. Okay, and the school team is the colored team assigned to that student. And then our final column is an example of all this. And as you can see for the ID, we're going to have an S at the front followed by the, the seven digit number. 
Okay, we've got an example of a first name and a last name there. The year group example could be just eight if they're in year eight. We've got a sample date there for when the student may have been born. We obviously can't show a sample of a student image and the color team the student in, is in could be the blue house. Okay, so I hope this data dictionary has given you an understanding of what data might be stored about yourself here on a school database. Okay, and obviously it's different schools would have different types of data stored on the database. But if you do look at your student ID, as we mentioned at the beginning of this, you'll see this all kind of reflected there. Okay, you mightn't have the school team reflected there. That might be different between the, different between the schools and the format for your date of birth might also be different between schools. It might be more like that driver's license date. But try to think about the bigger picture. This is real data stored about you. Okay, and it's all reflected there on your student card. So have a look and give this a try.